What's going on in the brain when you learn? In order to learn anything, whether it's math, a foreign language, guitar, or how to dribble a basketball, you need to create and strengthen pathways in your brain. Think about shooting a free throw. Know that feeling when you've got it down and don't even have to think about it? That's muscle memory. Here's the thing. Muscle memory lives in the brain, not the muscles. Your brain controls everything your muscles do, and it does this by activating specific neural pathways for each and every movement. These are functional pathways, neurons working together to achieve a goal. Say you're learning how to shoot a free throw. If it's your first time doing it, you don't yet have a pathway for that movement in your brain. You need to create it. Let's use an analogy to look at what's happening in the brain during this time. When you're first learning, your brain is like a forest full of trees and dense foliage, with no clear pathway between point A and point B. As you learn the mechanics of shooting a free throw, you create a trail through the forest. Now you can shoot the free throw because you've created that pathway in your brain, but you probably don't make many shots because it's so new. The pathway isn't very clear yet. In order to improve your free throw, you need to refine and strengthen the free throw pathway in your brain. The way you do that is through practice. Practice gradually widens the trail through the trees, turning it into a dirt road between A and B. You're starting to get pretty good now. You're making more free throws than not. You don't have to think about the mechanics as much. That's because the pathway gets stronger after each practice rep. And you've done a lot of reps. With even more practice, the dirt road turns into a paved road connecting A and B, allowing information to be transmitted at a faster rate. Scientists call this plasticity, and it's your brain's innate ability to create and strengthen connections between neurons, 